welcome back to our channel today we are covering the questions and answer on table desktop specialist tds to find the complete list of questions and answer please go to the playlist link provided in the description our team is working hard to keep the content up to date if you find this video helpful please let us know in the comment section we really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Now, today's question is, Tableau will automatically create a hierarchy for which two kinds of data? Choose two options. Options are, option A, date and time. Option B, date. Option C, string. And option D geographic the correct option is option A and B next question is what are two ways that dimensions and measures are different choose two options and the options are option A Dimensions can be used in calculated fields and measures cannot. Option B. Measures are segregated and dimensions are not. Most voted. Option C. Dimensions affect the level of detail of a visualization and measures do not. Most voted. And option D. Measures can be used as filters and Dimensions cannot. The correct option is option B and C. Next question is at a minimum, what do you need to create a simple scatter plot? Options are Option A, a measure on columns and a measure on rows. Option B, a dimension on detail and measure on columns. Option C, a dimension on columns and a measure on rows. And option D, a dimension on columns and a dimension on rows. The correct option is option A. Next question is which statement accurately describes a join? Options are option A, a combination of columns appended from different tables that have similar values. Option B, a way to combine table columns in relational databases by using shared values. Option C, a way to combine multiple tableau workbooks using similar data sources. And option D, a combination of rows appended from different tables that have the same column names. The correct option is option A. Next question is which two filter modes can you use with continuous filters? Choose two options and the options are option A multiple values, option B single values, option C range of values, and option D special the correct option is option C and D next question is which three statements accurately describes the capabilities of dashboard actions choose three options and the options are option A can have multiple source and target sheets. Option B can be set 
to run on hover, select or menu. Option C can be set to filter, highlight or go to URL. And option D can be set to dynamically update when a workbook opens. And option E can be set to be triggered on a data value. The correct option is option A, B and C. Next question is when creating a histogram in Tableau to what does bin size refer? Options are option A the maximum number of marks in the view. Option B the range of the continuous measure counted in each bin. Option C the count distinct C O U and T D of items on either axis and option D the minimum sorry the minimum number of axis ticks in the view. The correct option is option B. Thank you.